Hey guys, it's been a while since I made a video here. Uh, I've been working on this 05 Focus I picked up for my wife after she crashed hers a while back. Uh, thing looked great on the upper end of it. Uh, only had 52,000 on it. Uh, the engine looks great. And uh, when I got up underneath, I always, uh, I'm afraid to use cars. And uh, this had some serious rust under it which I didn't think it was as bad as it was right now I'm waiting for some front struts to come in from uh, UPS I've had all the wheels off this thing uh, doing repairs and uh, I'm gonna have a major uh, brake bleed job coming up here uh, in a few hours so rather than doing it the old way with pumping the brake I decided to get a vacuum bleeder for it, so that's what this video is. Okay, this is the brake bleeder I got. I got it from Harbor Freight. It was 36 bucks shipped. Can't beat that with a stick. I was thinking about making one, but by the time I got all the parts and time invested, 36 bucks, uh, I would have ended up paying about that and making one. So this was a ready-made unit, and uh, Actually, it looks pretty nice, and I think it'll work well. So, I'll show you the components here. It comes with the bleeder itself, and then it has an automatic refill bottle, which will aid in uh, bleeding the brakes. I thought that was a cool idea. I was going to make one of those a while back, uh, thinking about a water, a water jug in the kitchen. You put it in, once it goes down, it refills to a certain level. So... That's the box of it. This is the refill bottle right here. It comes with different tips that fit into the reservoir. There's various sizes of tips. And you just find the one that fits your reservoir. It has a nice on and off valve. So you can fill this with brake fluid. Turn it upside down. Once it hits that level, it refills it again. Great idea. So that's that. And then the bleeder itself is right here. Seems to have a silicone tube on it for the vacuum. Hook that up to your air compressor. It runs the air over an orifice and creates a vacuum. It has a nice little adapter there that will fit on the bleeder screws. And I think this will work out good. It has a weird little tang at the end there. I thought that was a trigger lock. It looks like it's something to hang from the wall. I think I'm going to remove that. Bend a piece of steel for that so if I want to lock the trigger on while I'm checking the level and stuff, I can do that. So I'll just take that off, bend another piece of wire for it. So that's pretty much that unit right there. Okay, there's the reservoir there. Here's the uh, Here's the refill bottle with the adapter on it, and they slide right into the cap hole right there. But there's really nothing to hold that down tight to that. So I was trying to figure out a way to do that. And the way I was looking at it, here's the cap to the reservoir right there. So I'm going to take this over to the bench and I'll show you what I came up with. Okay, here's the cap itself. Looking at it, this would be perfect because this cap would fit over top of this adapter. It has the perfect thread for the reservoir, and I was thinking if I could get this cap off without disrupting anything on here, I could use that to hold the uh, adapter into the reservoir. So, not wanting to damage this, I looked at it very carefully, and it will release. There's a little bit of a, a one-way tab on this thing and if you just gently push around the edges of this it will come apart. And I had it the other day and just have to gently push around that tab and it will release this cap. Of course now it won't do it because I'm on camera. There it goes. Now it comes right off. That gives me the perfect part for this. Now, when it goes over, it'll hold those tangs down tight to the uh, to the reservoir itself. 
So from there, then I would just thread this on like this. And that'll be a, a nice setup. I think I still might put a piece of wire on the top of it because it'll have weight from the brake fluid. But this works pretty good. Okay, there's the reservoir now. Now we go in with the adapter. And I am doing this one-handed, so... And then I screw this down to the reservoir. Now that tightens the whole unit down. The little bit of wobble you see is just the threads itself. But I think I'm just going to get a piece of wire, wrap it around, and hang it off the hood, because it'll have some weight in there once it's full of brake fluid. And then I can just turn the valve on there. It'll fill it up just below the maximum, but above the minimum, so that'll work out good. So that's that setup. Okay, the last part of this is with these vacuum uh, bleeders, you can run into sucking air from the threads, even though it's in the uh, caliper itself. Uh, so what I'm going to do to combat that, and I always fight in corrosion around here because the uh, roads are full of salt and uh, brine is I'm going to put a little bit of a uh, anti-seize around this just on the threads nowhere near the tip then I'm going to take a piece of white Teflon tape give that a couple of wraps and then I'm just going to put a little bit more anti-seize around this uh, Teflon itself for uh, corrosion resistance and then when I thread it in then the uh, Teflon will keep air from sucking the, from the threads with the vacuum system so that's it for this uh, until i get ready to bleed this system i just got my struts in and i should be able to show you how to bleed the system later on today okay i'm back i got the front struts on all the brake assembly is all tightened up now both sides are good to go i checked this out i filled the bottle with the fluid and it seems stable enough that uh, I'm not going to run the wire on that. So we're ready to go here. I got the uh, bleeder hooked up in the back. We're going to start at the farthest corner first. And get down here. So we got the uh, got the air hooked up to the uh, to the unit here. So I'm going to crack my nut right here. Now we're going to apply the pressure. And I'm already seeing fluid coming through this thing. side this is the passenger rear and then I'll do the driver rear okay I'm over on the driver side now it took a little while to get the passenger side rear uh, bled out so now I'm starting on the other rear wheel and uh, do this some more I'll go through the whole process, but uh, when the compressor kicks on, uh, you can't hear anything I'm saying. So I'll just do this for a few seconds, and, uh, and then when, when I get to the front, I'll take a shot of that. All right, so here we go. coming through that thing but it keeps working it the other way so I'll show you my progress as I go on with this thing okay I'm on my final side here this is the driver's side the closest one 
and then I think I'll go around and check the brake pedal and I think I might go through this one more time here so I'll turn it on let you watch it and this is my project going for now Well guys, it's the next morning. It took me a little longer last night to uh, bleed out the system than I thought the thing was completely airbound. So I'm getting ready to put the car back on the ground. Right now I have the rear a little higher than the front. So I decided to do the rear one more time because the pedal didn't feel quite right to me. I think that may have something to do with the automatic adjusters and the rear drums because I have them all the way in and uh, with driving that should uh, readjust. So overall, I think that's a good little tool for the money. It saved me a lot of, a lot of time with uh, you know, doing it myself and it did a pretty good job. So, and the automatic filler worked really good. I just wanted to show you one more thing here. Uh, I said this thing had a lot of rust on it. I've been using this product right here, this core seal. And I'll tell you, this stuff is pretty tough stuff. It is a uh, water-based, uh, you know, chemical, which I had my doubts about. And once this stuff bites into the metal, when it's, when it's fully cured, it's hard to grind off. It is really tough stuff. So I used this on the whole underside, and then after that all cured, I painted the whole bottom of the car. So check that stuff out if you have any rust that you want to take care of this stuff works really well i got this off of amazon there may be other places that you can get it so that's my segment on uh on this uh you know vacuum bleeder and i hope it helps somebody out all right see ya